Welcome to the dating game. Here's your host, Art Sweetheart. Hello, and welcome to another episode of the dating game, the show where we play Cupid or we look stupid. <laughs> Let's get right to it and meet our bachelorette. She describes herself as sweet and sassy. Say hello to Passion Fruit. So, Passion Fruit, tell us about the men in your life. Well, Art, most of the men in my life are really sweet, but they can also be really annoying. So, would you say when it comes to meeting Mr. Right Fruit, you can really pick him? <laughs> yeah. They're annoying because they say stuff like that. <laughs> well, let's see if we can play matchmaker for you, Passion. Say hello to bachelor number one. We're talking to a girl. Uh, hi, bachelor number one. Bachelor number two. Bonjour, Passion. I look forward to getting to know you very well. Ooh, I like your accent, bachelor number two. And last but not least, bachelor number three. Hey, hey, Passion Fruit. Hey, Passion Fruit. Wait, that voice sounds familiar. Oh, I'm sure you're completely mistaken, Passion. What do you say we move on to the first question? Oh, pick me! Pick me! Bachelor number three, come on, pick me! Bachelor number one. Ah, come on! If we went on our first date, what would we do? Oh boy, you're so beautiful. Oh no, spritzing, spritzing on the lovely. Oh no. Yeah. He sounds like a motorboat making a milkshake. <laughs> Did he say motorboat? Uh, pardon moi, but I believe what Bachelor number one was trying to say is a fair state with one as lovely as you would be the last fair state of his life. Holy jumping gigawatts! You was smooth. Phew! I, well, that's rather forward. A passion, my philosophy has never looked back. So I can only be forward, yes? <laughs> Stupid apple! Red onion made French toast out of you! <laughs> okay, see, I'm getting that feeling again. <laughs> You'll have to pardon bachelor number three. It is safe to say we are all intoxicated by your presence. I think we can forget about bachelor number one. <laughs> Apple's such a mush mouth. <laughs> Let me remind the bachelors that you're not supposed to reveal the identities of one another. I'm not a bachelor, I'm an orange. Wow, I'm totally shocked. See, I told you sparks would fly. <laughs> Can I talk to the super hot French guy now? Super hot French fry? Be careful, you might burn your tongue. <laughs> that is entirely possible. Question, ooh, ooh, question, come on, question. Okay, that's really not necessary. Come on, nobody's asked me anything. Ugh, fine, bachelor number three. Yay, I win, suck it, red onion. <laughs> I am not an onion, you buffoon. If we went on our first date. But I don't own a calendar. A date, you idiot, like when two fruits really, really like each other. Oh, sorry, that's not gonna happen. What? Yeah, I've already got someone I really like. She's totally smart and pretty and purple. And whenever I see her, I feel like I just ate a butterfly made of chocolate, if you know what I mean. I think I do, bachelor number three. It's what's on the inside that counts. Well, since I've clearly lost control of the show, let's lower the wall and see if passion is right. She would choose this common piece of rubbish over me? Clearly, I am uh, the superior fruit. Yeah, the doy. It's back to Skyrim for me. Oh! Oh my God, Orange, are you okay? Yeah, poor guy. I think he really had a crush on you, Passion. <laughs> uh, please stop. Well, while we're busy contacting our attorneys, you kids go out there and have a great time on your date. Yeah, come on, Passion. There's room for you too. Get him off me. Get him off me. From the Annoying Orange Studios, it's the kitchen's number one game show, Wheel of Fortunes! With Banana White and your host, Pat Flapjack. Hey everybody, welcome to Wheel of Four Cheese. As always, today our three contestants will be spinning the world famous Four Cheese Pizza of Fortune for a chance to guess the phrase on the board. And in the end, one of them will be leaving with some serious cheddar. Let's meet today's contestants. First up, we have Pear. Great to be here, Pat. I watch this show all the time. Hi, Mom. Well, that was certainly boring. Hopefully our next contestant is more interesting. Welcome, Grapefruit. Hello, Pat. I assure you I am interested. A bit of a renaissance fruit, some would say. When I'm not phoning up on Wheel of Four Cheese strategy, I paint, lift weights, and lose challenge videos to a diminutive apple on YouTube. Never trust an apple, that's what I always say. And to our final contestant, Orange. Was I supposed to 
to eat the pizza? Because I did. No, you weren't supposed to eat the pizza. That's a prop for our game show. So it's not a real pizza? No, it's made of metal. Huh, well that explains the toothache. Ow! Would you stop eating my game show? Owie, it hurts! So stop eating metal! Gross! It tastes like metal! <sighs> Listen, we gotta get rolling here or we're gonna lose sponsors. All right, so Pear, give it a spin. Come on, big money! An all expenses paid vacation to Fruitapest! All right! Okay, I'm gonna guess end! Are there any ends? Yes, there are three. F! Q! Orange, what on earth are you doing? I thought we were shouting out letters we like! W, M, X! <laughs> Just kidding, I don't really like X. <laughs> Great job picking today's contestants, Phil. Pear, it's still your turn. All right, here we go. Ah! Oh, tough luck. Moving on to grapefruit. Whee! Orange, get off of there! <laughs> 1,000. Pick a letter, grapefruit. Actually, Pat, I'd like to solve this puzzle. Wow, really? Yes, Pat, I've memorized the entire English dictionary, and there's only one word it can be. Nuancings. Nuancings? What kind of word is that? Admittedly, it's obscure, but I have encountered it among my forays into literature. At any rate, it's a process of elimination, really. No other word in the English language could possibly fit. So there you have it. Nuancings. It is my very educated guess. Is it nuancings? Ooh, I'm sorry. Apparently there's another word out there that fits the board. That that's impossible! Guess you don't really understand the nuancings of this game, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually pretty good, Orange. So are we friends now? No, spin the wheel now. Hmm, why? Because that is how the game is played. Don't be difficult. Okay, um, now uh, guess a letter. Why? Because those are the... Oh. Okay, looks like there are several Y's. What the heck kind of word is this? It's nowhere in my Scrabble dictionary. Oh my gosh, I can see where this is going. Orange, you can spin again or you can solve the puzzle. Hmm, can I take a minute to decide? Uh, we're actually on a tight schedule. Um, What's he doing? I think he's meditating. Now he's motorboating. Now he's touching his tongue to his eyeball. I know, it's weird. Heck yeah, it's weird, and it's taking too long. I can actually feel the sponsors fleeing in my bones. Orange! <laughs> Orange! <laughs> Orange, either guess or solve! Now! <laughs> that is it! I've never kicked someone off my show before, but... Congratulations, Orange! You've successfully guessed the puzzle! Huh? Wait, well, what's happening? Are you kidding me? You win a new car and a pile of edible scrap metal. Woohoo! Looks like my years of yam yang finally paid off. This is absurd. I demand a redo. Hmm. Well, we've never redone an episode before. We'd have to... Scrap? Right. We'd have to scrap the entire episode, reset all the cameras, and... No! Scrap! Huh? Ah! Ah! Well, I guess I might as well come out with this now. Yes, I announced these episodes in my underwear. We'll see you next time on... Wheel of Fortune! Dole Fruit is proud to present everyone's favorite game show, Fruit for All. And here's our host, Apple Trebek. Ah, thanks, Johnny. And thank you for tuning into the only game that puts your fruit knowledge to the test. Now, let's meet our contestants. From the tropics of South America, it's Banana. Uh, hi, Mom. And let's all say aloha to contestant number two, Pineapple. Hey, good to be here. Don't worry, folks, we're not related. <laughs> and finally, hailing from the kitchen, it's... Hey, hey, Apple, look, I'm on TV. <laughs> Okay, let's get to it. Banana, get us started. Okay, how about... Way to go, Pineapple. 
Dude, it's not your turn. Oh, uh, okay, I'll take... Oh, oh, undershorts! Pick undershorts! <laughs> what? Orange, it's not your turn. And the name of the category is File Under Sports. What is Wedgie? <laughs> uh, sports for 400. This yellow fruit, a favorite among athletes, is loaded with potassium, B6, fiber, and complex carbohydrate. Orange? What is that thing on your face? It looks like your mouth grew an eyebrow. <laughs> Incorrect. The answer is banana. Correct. No way. It's too fuzzy to be a banana. Okay, Apple. Let's go with fresh remedies for a thousand. Bromelain, an enzyme found in this fruit, appears to reduce inflammation. That would be me, pineapple. Correct again. Hey, no fair. When are you going to ask some questions about me? Okay, let's go with silly citrus for a thousand. Oh, oh, I want to use my lifeline. Uh, you know what? You don't have one. That's the other show. You're telling me this now? Um, are you sure the phone's on? Uh-huh, when it rings, it goes like this. <laughs> huh? huh? What? Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. <laughs> Quick. It could be orange. <laughs> Pick it up. Quick. Big money, 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 no whammies! And that's why you're in last place. Pineapple has the lead, but the board belongs to you, banana. Okay, I'll take... Hey, hey, banana, you should buy a vowel. Yeah? Well, you should shut your... Oh, thank goodness. You know what that sound means. It's time to motorboat. Good Lord, no. Motor... What? It's time for the final fruit. The final fruit. This last question will determine tonight's winner. And given the scores, it probably won't be the orange. You're an apple. Table, butterfly, and bread are all types of what? Let's start with... Hey, 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 apple! What orange? What is it? What is your answer? Knife. Sorry, that's, uh, wow, that's actually right. <laughs> I guess nobody saw that one coming. Well, at least it wasn't the lightning round. Did someone say lightning round? Uh-oh. It's time to play family food. Give it up for your host, Steve Carvey. How you doing? Thank you very much. Folks, we got a great one for you today, so let's cut right to the chase. Chop, chop. Today, we got the veggies. <laughs> Versus the fruits. <laughs> Is he okay? What's wrong with him? Yeah, we've been trying to figure that out for over a decade. Okay then, give me broccoli and little apple. All right, here we go. We surveyed 100 of the most weirdest people we could find. Top three answers are on the board. Give me something that you do on Friday night. Broccoli. Watch a movie. Is it up there? No, remember, we asked extremely weird people these questions. Little Apple? Oh man, oh man, oh man, my mind's going blank. All I can think of is what I did last Friday night. We need an answer. Bubble bath and vinegar. I'm sorry, did you just say bubble bath and vinegar? Well, I read online that it can make you bigger. I don't know, Steve. I went down a real internet rabbit hole. I was scraping the bottom of the barrel as far as quality websites are concerned. Is it up there? Survey says. You've got to be kidding me. Do the fruits want to pass or play? I don't know. Are we weird enough to get all three answers, guys? We'll play, Steve. All righty then. By the way, the winner of today's episode will win a new motorboat. Okay, I brought my own. Okay, grapefruit. How are you, my man? Quite well, Steve. I'd like to say hello to all the beautiful females watching at home, and I also remind everyone that the camera adds five pounds. That's right, I'm even more svelte in person, ladies. Great! All right, now give me something that you do on a Friday night. Well, ladies, I happen to spend Friday nights volunteering at the local puppy shelter before going to bed alone on my yacht, yearning for someone to share my considerable fortune with. Is it up there? 
Steve, I'm gonna go with what Grapefruit actually spent last Friday night doing, eating muffins while swiping right on every Tinder profile, including his cousins. That was an accident, okay? I got deep in the zone. My mind went to auto swipe down. Is it up there? Survey says. Wow, okay then. Grandpa Lemon, you can win it right here with the correct answer. Name something that you do on a Friday night. Well, if you're looking for weird, I think I got you covered. Why, back in the war, whenever we'd get stir crazy from boredom, we'd grab some bamboo reeds and we'd. Is sleep on the board? Oh, I'm sorry, that answer is far too normal to be up there. Orange, it's up to you. Get it right and your team wins the round. Get it wrong and the veggies get a chance to steal. Here we go. Name something that you do on a Friday night. Hmm, what is motorboating till you pass out? This isn't Jeopardy, Orange. You don't have to phrase your answer as a question. Who's answering? I was asking, because it sounds like fun. <laughs> Orange, Orange, you need to focus up, buddy. Orange, something you do on Friday night. Honestly, this is what he does on Friday night. Good enough, then that's his answer. Motorboat, is it up there? What? You know what? I'm not even mad. Congratulations, you win. Take your prize and get on out of here. At least we get to move on from whatever that annoying thing Orange does with his mouth is called. Motorboat. Right, motorboat. No, motorboat. Wait, what? Hey! <laughs> Ship. <laughs> oh. Family food is filmed in front of a live studio audience and directly below a poorly run shipyard. Whoops! <laughs>